Hello and welcome back to Jaguar iPace tutorial. This is part two. Last time around we did look at the home screen, which we can see here. It was very brief and simple and it will be the same again this time round. So without further ado, let's start part two. So we're going to swipe to the left and it takes us to the extra features, as you can see just up here. The first tab is Eco Data. You can see that on the top left. So let's delve into that and see what that's all about. So on this screen here, you can see how your car is performing in terms of charge, miles per hour, uh, the time, and also the journey. So that's what this is all about at the bottom here. When you're driving, the car will give you a percentage out of 100 on how um, well you've driven the car. So this here would normally come up with a number. Uh, it could be 80% efficiency, 76, uh, and so on. It's just trying to make you uh, a bit better on your range, that's all. If we go to range impact, you can see how the car is using the energy. So here we can see the AC is taking some of the charge up and also the uh, heated rear screen there. So that's pretty clever. There's a few tips here as well. So let's go back. Uh, the last feature on this is history. So you can see how the car has performed. Um, this is a demo, so you can see it's been uh, tested uh, properly um, by putting your foot down, etc. Um, let's have a look at some of the journeys. So this one here has got 90% efficiency. And these categories here you get rated out of five. That's five, 4.6 and 4.5, so not bad at all. And then that's the eco data area. So let's go back to the extra features. Camera, that's just gonna show you the cameras. So it was simply put on the 360 cameras and you can see what is going on around the car. That's a bit repetitive because if you put the car in reverse anyway, that will come on. Web browser, if you press that, you can access the internet. Your car will come with a SIM card. If it hasn't got a SIM card, make sure you do get one from your local Jaguar center. Reason being is, this new Jaguar has over the air um, updates. So um, don't miss out on that. So normally you would just type here, Google, BBC, Sky Sports, TripAdvisor, Hotels and things like that. You get all of those features, which is pretty cool. Again, there's no Simmons card, so I can't access that and show you. Swipe to the left. The next one is Vehicle Precondition, this tab here. So you can actually kind of like a calendar, put in what time and date you want the car to precondition itself and it will just take care of it. You can also do that via your app, Jaguar Remote, which is very good. In control apps. So if you put a USB into um, the armrest area underneath it, there's a, a little tab that looks like this and then connect your phone. You can use your apps from your phone and display it onto the car's screen such as Spotify um, and, and a few others. So that's pretty good. And now you can get, finally, the Apple CarPlay and the Android Play as well. So you can get that. Uh, live, that can just show you live traffic updates, messages, notifications, um, weather and things like that. Again, if you've got the SIM, you'll see a lot more on this page. The, um, the next one is my EV. This is brilliant. It really is. It tells you everything about your car. So we're on 72% uh, charge and it's saying roughly 190 miles of range. We can go to the EV setup and you can creep. So you can turn this on and off. Uh, naturally, an electric car won't want to creep like an automatic because obviously it has no gears. Um, but you can turn it on so it does feel normal. Uh, if that's what you want to call it. You can also turn it off. Next one is regenerative braking. You can see just here, if I move to this screen, the charge and how much power your car's using. So if you put on the regenerative braking high, you're going to get a lot more charge uh, and it will change the style of the drive as well. So do check that out. If you haven't driven the uh, iPACE, Make sure you do drive one, but also try it on high regen braking because it makes a massive difference. 
So the next stage is just swiping to the left and you can see a different area of the car. This is brilliant when the car is actually driving because you can see everything in motion, where the charge is going and where you're getting your regen braking from the two motors. Obviously one at the front, one at the back. Um, so it's, it's quite impressive. Um, it's good to see it when it's driving though. So if we go back to the home screen, valet mode is very impressive. Uh, you can get that in any Jaguar, not just the I-Pace. Uh, you can lock the car with a pin. So someone can still have the keys while they're valeting your car, but they can't uh, access certain areas of the car. That's all that does. And again, you can get that in all Jaguars. And simply contacts. That will just allow you to um, access your contacts. You can even add contacts and things like that. So that is the extra features page. Um, if we swipe to the left once more, you'll see a few others. I'll do part three, and that will go through these areas here, um, and also this second touch screen. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a real pleasure. Any questions, do let me know. And any thanks, all the best.